So welcome to part two of your remote access setup tutorials. This one it will be a short one just going over the connection uh, that you'll need to get to the internet. So first let's go over the types of connections here. Uh, the first will be the WAN type connection. You'll establish um, a direct connection to the internet from your remote access module. In this example here you will see there is a machine network. In this machine network it will be its own subnet. In this example anything that's 198.10.11.x will be in the machine network. So therefore when you connect to this modem when we have finally established the connection to talk to M which we do in a later video you will have access to everything within this subnet. Anything before this of course will be invisible. So how this works is right now you will need to make sure there is a uh, WAN connection to your remote access module be it in your plant network or what have you that has access to the internet. The other way of doing this, of course, is through cellular. With a few extra steps of establishing a SIM card and making sure it connects to the cellular network, once that is done, virtually everything else is the same. But today's example will be going over the WAN connection, and there are wizards that will help us do that. So. First, we will still connect directly to our device um, on a LAN port before we finish final setup of this device. And we will go over to configuration. And over here to the right with this icon is the wizards and we'll eventually run these three wizards. This third one here, Talk to M, is uh, the third video that will be made. And we will go over the first two right now. In fact, we can just go over the top one because the first, second one can be integrated into it. What you do is you click on that. You have the type of connection here, which will be Ethernet. Uh, if this was a cellular modem, you would have an option here called Modem Connection. Click Next. Here we select DHCP. Mine has already had its uh, self recognized, so it filled itself out. This you would get from your network administrator. We can go ahead and test the internet connection. Uh, by clicking this box and then click next. Over here in the top right you'll see the time is passing and after about 10 seconds we had success and we are good to go. So with that we've actually done the first two boxes. Now that you have the connection to the internet established. Now you can configure an account for talk to m and register this device with the server and once you do that now you can connect to that device no matter where it's at as long as it has an internet connection. So if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for watching.